I know, but they fit around the neck, but the bellies on these dogs are so big. Do you think she'll fit in an extra large? So we're outside of the house of a dog that was adopted five years ago, and this dog's a very special dog because the man behind the camera right now, Anthony from Blue Nose Studios, actually has one of her puppies, and his brother has the other puppy, and we're going to see Megan right now, who was adopted in 2011. So come on, let's go. Say hi. Megan, how you doing? Hey, baby. That's the camera. That's the camera. Come on. Come in. Good. Hey, I know. It's been five years. Oh. I know. Okay. Good girl. They get along great. Right? How is she with all the dogs? Uh, which one? Megan? Yes. Oh, not a problem. Then so, so we could bring, uh, can we bring, uh, the dog in right now? Well, I mean, not right this second, but I would love to set up the reunion between the sisters and, and the mom. Yeah, that's brother, no problem. sister, and the mom. That's no problem. Megan, you're pretty uh, too. You're pretty too. Yeah. I know. You're pretty she's too. Like she's 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 oh yeah, absolutely. You looked at my house for three months, yeah. right? Good girl. She's a good girl. Okay. <laughs> they can be walked outside, I can walk without a leash. Oh yeah, yeah. I got them. And if dogs come by, I gotta be a little more stern with my voice and everything, but they don't go. So how old is she now? Uh, she's gotta be seven. Seven, one on eight. Alright. She's a very much sister. What? You wanna get in the camera? You wanna get in the camera? Mm -hmm. I want everything, I want everything everybody else has. I have all my own life. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> Wow, I can't believe how good she looks. You remember? Huh? You remember Greg? Okay, she remembers me too. <laughs> You're looking at that, Dad? She's so calm and relaxed. Yeah, she is. She's, she's a always, good girl. She's always like that. She's a really yeah. good girl. You, on the other hand. Oh, yeah. Ah, yeah, I like 
Yeah. I love attention. I know. <laughs> I'm not even here to see you. She's never been here to see you. She knows you're a dog lover. She knows you're a dog lover. Alright, so we gotta set up the meat. Yeah, we do. Yeah, so when can we do that? Um, sometime, you know, next week. I'm, next you week? Alright. Whatever you want. I'll see you soon, okay? We're gonna bring back your baby so we can meet them. Saying I, I thought it was the back, but, but she doesn't seem to, you know. She looks like everywhere. But, I mean, that's that's what I was thinking too. Like it kind of went from uh, as she sits funny, like. Well, it's definitely in the behind, but yeah. I also see her in the front too. Yeah, yeah. What the heck are you doing? Hello, <laughs> how are you? Uh, she's the sweetest thing in the world. You are very cute. Hi, <laughs> hi. Don't hurt yourself now, okay? Eating okay? Drinking okay? Yeah, I mean, and. Uh, Originally, uh, well, uh, she's an owner surrender from the Bronx. The girl didn't drive, so I had, yeah, she got spayed. She got spayed too. Yeah, okay. Yeah. And uh, so the girl didn't drive, so I have a couple in Westchester that always do pickups for us in, in like that area. Okay. So they picked her up, and they seemed to think that uh, when she was playing with their dog that she hurt her back leg. But then I was thinking maybe they didn't even realize that. She was hurt when they, you know, when they first got her. Yeah. Because uh, I, I, I think it's in the front too. So. Well, let me listen to this before it pops out of your chest. Hi, sweetheart. Hello. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Take nibbles out of the chin. Yeah, what I know. She's a nibble. Take nibbles. That's good. I know. What am I doing? I just want to make sure your legs work. Yes, they do. No, 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 no. What are you doing? What are you doing? I hear you chomping. I hear you knee I know you're being so brave. You're being so brave. You gotta be a little still. You said no. <laughs> so a lot of times when they walk like that gingerly, you always wonder too, is their neck pain? Yeah, because I'm palpating. I mean, when, you, when you're trying to, you know, elicit pain, unfortunately, just to see if you can make her painful, but she's not. Yeah. Well, here's what here's what I would do. Um, you know, the only things that come to mind are like our musculoskeletal injuries. So, like you're thinking back, limb, but it's how long have you had her? A day. He they they picked her up. What's today? Thursday. So they picked her up Tuesday. Held her overnight Tuesday. Put her out here yesterday. I got her yesterday around four. She stayed at my house last night and now she's here today. Okay. So. Well, I mean, if it gets, because the only things that come to mind, I mean, she's young, so it's either an injury or something she was could be potentially born with. Right, that's what so, I'm nervous that maybe they didn't see it when they first I picked know, her up. Yeah. Because, come here, do it again, do it again. And, and it, it, it scares me the way she's, like, the, yeah. the way she's sitting I mean, on it. I would say is within the next two weeks, we should probably do some, some ortho rads on her just to make sure because, I mean, she walks like she has hip dysplasia. Yeah, right? Like, yeah. yeah. Um, I, you can't really make a diet. She's young, though, too. So you're going to do x-rays, and it may not be 100% evident until she gets a little bit older. But she walks like that. She bunny hops. It's yeah. really, but also, I mean, sometimes with the neck injuries, they can look almost the same way, and it gets progressively worse. So 
I would say is, well, let's just do blood work on her to make sure there's nothing that would change, like um, change in her protein levels or her inflammatory proteins more likely, because if you want to just rule out infectious or autoimmune too. Okay. And then if that comes back normal, I would schedule for sed reds. I would say spay and sed reds, but you're already spayed. Right, so right. Then you would do orthopedic reds first. Okay. And we can, while she's sleeping for those ortho reds, you can do neck and spine cool. and everything. Okay. You may as well do everything while she's under. On the, uh, the blood work? Blood work. As soon as right, it's in cool. tomorrow morning. All right. Let me get those meds for you. All right, cool, cool, cool. Okay, so we're outside of NYBC headquarters. I'm with uh, the King of Besties, and we have Lyric and Harmony, who are a bonded pair. And we're gonna go over how to properly introduce two dogs. We get asked that a lot, you know, how we have dogs that all get along. And uh, so this is uh, the proper way to introduce two dogs would be first taking the first dog and going approximately 15 yards ahead of the second dog, okay? So this way, this dog is going to catch all the aroma of this dog. Okay, so 15 minutes you're going to walk one in head of the other, and then 15 minutes into the pack walk, you're going to have the second one come out in front of the first one. So now, now the second one will be able to receive the aroma and smell the other dog, get a little bit used to the dog. Okay, and now we're approximately a half hour into the pack walk. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna bring them even with each other, okay? And as we're walking them even with each other for another 15 minutes, we don't allow them to look at each other. They're only allowed to look at their walker, handler, or uh, straight ahead, okay? And now this is gonna go on for another 15 minutes. So now we're approximately 45 minutes into the walk, and then what we allowed the dogs to do is to have some contact with each other just like that. Okay, and now you're going to walk for another 15 minutes. And once you're one hour into the walk is when you'd want to go into uh, either a yard or if you don't have a yard, a closed in area. Okay, and you just take their leash, uh, their lead off and just let them run and, and, and be together. So once again, we're going to walk one dog ahead of the other dog for 15 minutes. Okay. One dog ahead of the other dog, then 15 minutes into the walk, you're gonna have the second dog come in front of the first dog. Okay, so now that's 15 minutes. Okay, a half hour into the walk, you're gonna bring them together. Okay, once again, they're allowed to look straight ahead or up at their handler. Okay, now approximately 45 minutes into the walk, you can let the two dogs interact with each other on a limited basis as far as when you're walking. Okay, now we're one hour into the walk and we'll show you exactly what we're gonna do in our little intro cages up here. Okay, and release. And in. And that's how you properly introduce two dogs together. This is our petite princess, Ryan. She's about a year and a half old and was found by a police officer who brought her to us so she wouldn't end up at a kill shelter. She is a fun-loving girl and is welcoming to all people. She is excited at the sight of a new face. And after a proper introduction, she loves the company of another dog. Currently, Ryan knows the command sit, but she's very intelligent and eager to please, so with some training, she would absolutely learn a lot more commands. And if you're interested in making her the newest member of your family, you can fill out an adoption application at nybullycrew.org. Can I go back? Yeah. Five more days. She said it looks great. Five more? Yeah, all right, cool. Yeah. And uh, does she do this right? Yeah, sure.
No, good. It's a little red, but I mean, it happens. Okay, it all right. It's not like right. it's yeah, because it, they, we can't put it back in the chair until, yeah. until they're out. Um, I'm just going to refill the Batril. So Maybe. I'm going to go home with that? Yes. All right, cool. You have it. Okay, so we just left Grady Animal Hospital and uh, we had Hope's checkup, which was good. Her stitches are going to come out in approximately five days. And once her uh, stitches come out, she'll be fitted for her own wheelchair, which she'll only be using temporarily until we uh, get her to walk. So just an update on Hope that everything is going good. And we're hoping that everything continues to go good. Oh, here's a bag. Yup, that's good. Yeah, that's good. Oh, yeah. <laughs>